John 3.16 is the most famous verse in the Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. But what does it all mean? Well, it's been described as the gospel, the good news in a nutshell, and for very good reason. Firstly, John 3.16 tells us about the source of the gospel, God. This good news comes directly from the righteous, holy, almighty creator of the universe, the one who holds our little lives in his hands. But what is this good news? Well, secondly, John 3.16 tells us about the sentiment of the gospel, God so loved. Not just loved, but so loved. Loved with a mighty love, loved with a perfect love, loved with an unfailing love. But who did he love? Well, thirdly, John 3.16 tells us about the scope of the gospel. God so loved the world, the whole wide world and everyone in it. The young and the old, the rich and the poor, the good and the bad. He loved the entire population of the planet. Despite the fact that every single one of us has broken his laws, disobeyed his commandments, fallen short of his standards and are deserving of his judgment, in spite of our failures, in spite of our sin, God so loved the world. But how did he prove it? Well, fourthly, John 3.16 tells us about the sacrifice of the gospel. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He sent his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to be the saviour of the world. He gave him up to a horrific death on the cross where he would shed his precious blood and give his perfect life as a sacrifice for sin, allowing God to extend an offer of forgiveness to guilty people like us today. But how can we claim this forgiveness? Well, fifthly, John 3.16 tells us about the simplicity of the gospel. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him it's by simple faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who loved us, died for us and rose again for us, that we can claim God's offer of salvation today. But is it really all that important? Well, sixthly, John 3.16 tells us about the seriousness of the gospel. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Our response to this message of God's good news is a matter of life and death. It's the difference between perishing in hell or paradise in heaven forever. Tell me, how will you respond to the most famous verse in the Bible?